to the Luigi no matter what. Yeah, winner of uh, last week's MSM 239. Yeah. Luigi. And then Tyrant, of course, needs no introduction. One of the biggest veterans of this game, all the way since Brawl. Yep. <laughs> See, Elegant kind of shaking himself out. Oh, God. I love watching Elegant just because of how like physical he gets when he starts playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very one of the more passionate players. Tyrant actually one of the more calm, collected players, especially when he plays. So it's going to be interesting how this plays out here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, as we do have another uh, Palu making his way back to the, uh, the stage. Uh, but man, if you are uh, Elegant right here, all you need yep, is just the slightest <laughs> bit of momentum. I... <laughs> It's just one of those things. If you give Elegant a little bit of momentum, like, it's 50-50, you are in disadvantage or you can get out right away. Mm -hmm. um, but man, if he reads your DI and what you want to do, you're just dead. Last week he had an absolute, like, train running on so many players. So we'll see if he brings back that energy for MSM240. Mm -hmm. I think it's just one of those things where Elegant has seen these same situations so often that he knows, you know what, you're probably going to go down and I'm just going to run down and down air you and you'll be dead. So he just knows how to capitalize off of the limited situation he has. He, he has to. He's, he's playing a character that has like, one of the worst neutrals in this game, yeah. but as one of the best punish games, and that's how he takes his character far. Yeah, absolutely. Can we talk about that patience that they had right there, just standing there doing absolutely nothing while Tyrant was trying to mix up all sorts of options to get back on stage? He is, uh, he's filling himself again, I feel like, right now. Are we going to see... Of the restock potentially here? Yeah, potentially. I mean, we'll have to see if Tyrant can try and close it out. That was a great uh, reverse up smash, it looks like, to be able to close out that stock and uh, intercept underneath that bear. Okay, picks him up. He's gonna get that back there, close out that stock. But Elegant still in a great place. But like I said, we'll have to see. This is Luigi we're talking about. Anything can happen. Yeah, absolutely. He's able to air dodge through that uh, flare, but the down tilt back air, strides and trooper for power. Okay, back air out of shield. Not gonna be able to find a read, but he calls out the jump. And again, he goes for the dare, but not quite able to close out the stock. Just keeps himself an advantage here. Yeah, he'll go for that every time, too, that he sees fit. Oh, fantastic patience. Waiting out that dash attack. Oh, unfortunately, though, going too low and missing that counter. Only gonna be spiked. Oh, oh man, that sucks so much. I feel like Tyron had the right idea. If he just went for a back air instead, he probably was able to close out the stock, but instead the down B came out and Elegant said, I'll take this. Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll, I'll and, and, and the heat of the moment, that was a very good observation. Like, he was just like perfectly, yeah. <laughs> perfectly aligned right there to just throw out a down air for free and kind of fast fall. But in the one uh, in one in eight chance that it was a misfire. <laughs> if True. it was a misfire, True. in some alternate universe, that happened. <laughs> and it was really high. So anyways, we're going back here in the match. This time, carrying himself, oh. getting himself a good start here. How he's going to call out the recovery, tries to go and pick it up. Not able to quite do that, but it's still keeping himself in advantage here. Yeah, fantastic opening. Zero to, what, 83? Yeah, and he can keep this on for a really long time if Elegant can't find his way back. Yeah, right. absolutely. Usually, usually we see Elegant start off with these kind of uh, leads. Mm -hmm. well, let's see. He's playing a lot more patient. He's like, okay, you know what? I just got to not get grabbed and then I will be okay. And look at that, he is just playing right around it, trying to not be on the ground as much as possible. Tech chase scenario, calls out the jump again. All right, Elegant finally getting some momentum on the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tyrant really making Elegant work for this percentage this time around, not getting those grabs. He's gonna have to get something else, but here we go. Oh my Tries gosh, to go I, for thought, something I thought we were gonna see the up special. Yeah, not quite. He wasn't feeling confident that he could get it at the percentage, probably. Landing there. Yeah, either these guys. There we Fantastic go. Fantastic way mm -hmm. for that air dodge just to uh, jump back there. Close up that stock. Yeah, I mean, what's Luigi going to do with that at that point? Fair? Ooh. I don't think it's going to reach at that point. So, Tyrant, with the best option available, just waited out with the option that Elegant was going to do, and he's able to close out that stock. Okay, that's attack. Tries to catch him. Gonna have to see what to do, but he's gonna get around that up smash. Picks him up with the nair, puts him back off the stage. Really tough scenario for Elegant to try and make something happen here. He's trying to go in with those up smashes and those back airs that he did last game, but it's not quite happening this time around. Tyrant again has such great adaptability that he has to get around it, but finally to grab the wrong way. Even Tyrant kind of falls back in his chair. He's like, I didn't mean to do that, but that's. What Elegant's gonna take to try and take the stop? Yeah, Elegant's really good at calling out those things. Uh, if he if he is in the right situation, he'll just call out the overextension and punish you with that smash. It's a very clean thing for Luigi to do. 
Try to call out a jump. Elegant nowhere to be found, but still keeps himself the ledge control. Explosive flame. Air dodges through it. The back air, that's gonna be able to close it out. I, he got hit by the fireball, but it still came out, so. Alright, once again, uh, this opening grab not leading into a, you know, a fairly big combo for Elegant. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's trying to call out uh, a jump out of disadvantage and trying to continue oh. the damage with the fair, but it's not happening. Again, like I said, Tyrant with the adaptability, he knows to try and push his disadvantage in different ways. That way Elegant doesn't, you know, destroy his stops like he did last game. And it looks like it's working out for Tyrant here. Okay, calls out the jump. I mean, Luigi at the ledge is very oh. difficult to find some options to get back around. So. Oh my gosh, they went so deep. I thought one of them was going to end right there. Yeah, this is looking like Tyrant's game to take. I mean, this is Luigi we're talking about. You could die at any moment, but let's see what he does. Tries to go for back air. This time back around, run. tries to go for back air again. Able to take it this time. Oh, let go a little too early there. Is that going to actually kill him? Yeah, yeah that's going to take the stock. Wow. Tyrant uh, winning by two stocks that game, actually. Yeah, very great answer back to gain himself back some confidence going into this game three. Because yeah. that was looking kind of rough for Tyrant over earlier um, in the first game. Yeah, much more patient that round. Okay, let's Man, see. Man, we can hear the crowd erupting on the other side this time once again for, uh, for Ketchup, actually, who is uh, currently fighting Ned. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, game three. I actually looked away. I didn't see what stage they pick. Let's see what they go for. Elegant pondering to himself a little bit. Three, trying to bring back the concentration. Two, We're going to Battlefield this time already. Let's see how this goes for both players. Yeah, game three as well. So this is, uh, once again, the tournament uh, game for both of these players, potentially. Yeah, I actually want to see who put these two in losers that they have to fight so early. But we'll, we can check that later, actually. But Elegant. Keeping himself the ledge control this time. And using that Zare, actually, with the long-lasting hitbox, is actually doing some wonders here. And there it is. I was wondering when he was going to pull out the tornado. I guess he decided to pull the stops when he needed it this time in game three here. Okay, pretty even game. That was a great setup into the explosive flame, but he's able to jump out just in time. Oh, I thought he was going to go down for a spike. I feel like he was trying to go for that, and then he accidentally ledge trunks because he was he was going too fast in his inputs. Unfortunate, but at least he's keeping his control, so it's not too much lost here. All right, the auto reticle targets a little bit too early. Okay, the up air comes in. Elegant not able to find anything else that time around. Still, that's a decent amount of damage. These two just gonna have to find a way to close out the stock. You can see they're playing the nuke really really focused here. Ooh, alrighty. Catches them. Again, the explosive flame just barely missing the mark. There we go. The back throw comes in. And the back air, not quite going to be able to take it. He's going to have to use his side B. Will he be able to counter it? And yeah. he's going to close that stock. Very great edge guard from Tyrant there to close out that stock. Yeah, good option. I'm actually surprised that like we haven't been seeing uh, more characters do that against the Ouija. I feel like that'd be such an obvious uh, answer to that, but we didn't really see that with the, uh, the past games that I've seen uh, being played with Elegant. Mm -hmm. But up smash out of shield, gonna be able to close out the stock. Two stocks apiece. I mean, this is, I feel like this, this is a scenario we've seen pretty much every stream match so far. Uh, last game, uh, two stocks each, and they're pretty much at relatively similar percent, so. We'll, see how, we'll have to see how it goes, because both of these players are not letting up against each other. Okay, throwing out those airs, being extremely careful. Just throwing out all of those jumps to try and get around it. Just whatever you do, Tyra, don't get grabbed. That's basically the name of the game here, but you know that already. Yeah, just going for these down airs. Just Ooh, throwing them out so That oh. was unfortunate. I think that was really weird how he tried to come back to the stage. And because of that, Elegant really pushed the damage on that. He, just, he, got, he landed on the platform weirdly or something, and unfortunately Tyrant's going to take a lot of damage because of that. Oh, he actually oh. went for it! No, yeah, but he's going to be dead for that, too. <laughs> I was, oh, my I was, God. I was thinking, okay, he's not going to go for the dare. I know he's really vulnerable there, but he's not going to make it back. But you know what? I will take the trade, but he almost got the up air to be able oh to get that gosh. up B. That was going to be so devastating for Tyrant, but he's back in it. 
Let's see what he does. Up air into back air. A lot of damage. Very tough spot for Tyrant Divinity in here. Oh my gosh. Tyrant on his tournament stop potentially. Oh yeah, 94. This deficit is definitely not in Tyrant's favor right now, but Palatine doesn't have his tool kit to kind of bring this back. Double and explosive he flame. And he's going to try to go for it again. Oh, he I goes thought he was going to go for it. I, I thought he was going to go for up, up air. air. Oh, I feel like that was a miss input. Unfortunate, but here we go. He's back on the ledge, trying to find his way back in. Oh, and he jumps right at the right oh time. Oh Gonna catch him. Does he have to jump? He does yeah. not. Tyrant takes the set over oh, Elegant, calls out see. the jump, steals it from him, snatches it, and he snatches a set from him as well. Yeah. Tyrant moving on to the bracket. Elegant is out. Oh my god, I feel so bad. I feel like that was either a. Uh,